Good night, everybody. Tonight, uh, we are going to look at four transactions. We're going to look at entering sales receipts cash, sales receipts charge, accounts payable payment on account receipts, part one and two, and accounts receivable payment on account part one and two. These four receipts are um, very easy. And uh, that's why QuickBooks is so important because it make it these invoices <laughs> enter very effortless. Now, the when you're entering, cash and charge receipts, you always go to the customer section right here. And make a note that when you're entering cash sales, you go to create sales receipt. All of this is in your book. And when you're entering charge receipts, you go to create invoices right here. So, so if, you, if you have your transactions out, you see that the customer, the city of Bayshore, and, and your training manual will show you exactly what you need to do in reference to going from the home page. straight down to create sales invoices, create sales receipts right here. When you click on that, the receipt will say that the customer is city of Bayshore. So you come right here, city of Bayshore already in. Right, and the invoice number is 327. The person came in and he paid by cash. Right there. If he paid by check, credit card, or whatever, you have to click this right here. But he paid by cash. And, and don't forget now the item is the same thing as a product or inventory. Come right here, item. Floor plants. Quantity, 10. Rate, don't forget now, make a note that the rate and the price is the same thing. Rate and price is the same thing. And like I said before, QuickBooks does all the work. Once you click on amount, it automatically comes up. Now bear in mind that right here, you see a none. This none means that's there's no tax. That's why you don't see no tax here. But but our invoice said that this was a tax. This is not bread. They don't tax bread. So you have to put here tax right here. And when you change that to tax here, don't forget this twelve percent bar was key at the beginning of the class, right? If any problems with this, like I said, you always can go back to me with the key in this in here. The tax radio, come right here, you see? Non tax. Zero tax. So, so change. And that's all you do when you are entering cash sale. That's all you need. That's all you need. 
And then you press save and new if you are keying in another sales receipt. Or you press save and close when you're not keying in any more sales receipt. Do forget now, make sure that when you key in sales, make sure that the yeah. sales invoice, yeah. sales receipt is actually on the logo. That's very important here. That's very important. And then all you need to do now is press save and close because we're not keying in any more sales receipt. Exactly. Now, what is important, right, is that where it's going, all you is bleep. What is important now, you have to make sure understand she she exactly uh, where, where this is going. You see? That's very important. You have to understand. And you said a couple of minutes on the, for this class. Right? Where is going? It's going into the sales um, journal. But most important thing, if you look at your, on page five and on page 23, right? Five is how the seven books, ledgers, and journals are, is updated. You see that the sales, cash, and sales charge receipts are updated. And also the 23. So, a dough, or that's why accountants don't like this because it just say bleep and it, it automatically goes in, into the necessary accounts. So page five and 23 is very important. Of course, you know, five is the answer to the question number four on exam. And of course, 23 is, is the answer to the question number 20. And on page 11 is the general process of QuickBooks accounting. The next thing we look at is charge sales. That means you um, have the person have a account with you. You go to create invoices. All this is a training manual right here. You make sure th this invoice is highlighted here. It's so important. If this invoice is not highlighted, that means you are not in charge sales. The customer job, save your base sure. invoice number 328 item the floor plans quantity 10 rate 30, it automatically comes up. Tax now, there we go, 26, there we go. 30 day credit, normally it's 30 day credit, that's why it always show up as a template, but it could be in all kinds of other stuff. If you are have different charge accounts, if you have no more invoice to key in, you press save and close. If you have another one, you press save and new. Bear in mind that I am recording a session, so later on the night or first thing in the morning, and you'll get um, this uh, these transactions. And like I said, you, you, you should always practice on everything. And when you have problem practicing and when you can't get this thing right, then you, you always one-on-one -on -one me, okay? In this case, we finish with this. Invoices, charge, what's what number that? Save and close. Well, let's only keep popping up because this is a training manual and it's always popping up. It will not show up in yours. Oh, yes, bleep, that's all you here. But that's just, <laughs> but we know that we're going to five and page 23. The two final invoices and transactions are accounts payable payment account 
an account's receivable payment account. And this is an exam question. Always remember that charge expenses from B, like BPL and Cape Bahamas and uh, charge purchases, like from HH Purchase, goes into the account's payable ledger. It increases it. The account's payable payment account, what we're doing now, decreases it. So that means the person that that means that you don't owe these big bills no more. So the first transactions you go to in reference to accounts payable payment account. Remember, we went to enter bills when we deal with expenses. Now we went to inventory when we deal with charge purchases. Now we got to go see for the ladder straight over down here pay bills. John Bull right here. So we got we got some office supply from John Bull. Now the first part one is when you're paying on an account. So when you're paying on an account, you always put it right here. Three two four. But we don't pay fifty dollars now on this account. So when you're paying on an account, you come right out here. You click fifty dollars. Right here. Bear in mind, this is in the amount to pay section here. Don't do anything here. Come straight down here and click right there. And then you come right here and just click on right here. So the $50 can show you. See right here. Right here. And of course you pay by check. Check there. Right here. And then all you do is pay selected bills right here. And of course, our check number, when I was serious, was, was a 329 for this one here. 329. And you press OK. Right, and that means we pay John Bull on an account. Now, because we won't pay more bills, because we now we won't pay the balance in full. So you come right here now, pay more bills. If you didn't have to pay any more bills that day, you press done, and that's it. But now I'll show you how to pay in full. John Bull. I don't pay John Bull in full now. So let's say, just say three, two, three, two, four. I don't pay this in full. You always remember that now you check the dialog box right here. And when you check the dialog box, should happen, it automatically pays this in full. Last time we just don't pay amount among to pay. Then we just pay the fifty dollars here, but I don't pay all this off now. And then the check, I pay by check. Check and comes Cripbox does all the subtraction and deduction and addition and everything. That's why accountants don't like this at all. Pay select the bills. We see a balance coming back home right there. Pay select the bills. And of course um, this one here was three thirty. Now I press OK. Now I don't want to pay no more bills because I already pay partial payment and I already pay full payment. So now you pay and say press done. And as simple as it is. Don't read between too much lines. 
because that's exactly what happened. And don't forget, and like I said, 5 and 23 will show you the, the up and down things with payment accounts and all that stuff. Simple, right? That's what I did over the years, making it very easy for people to understand and what we go, we go behind the scenes. That's very important. The final transaction for the night will be the accounts receivable payment account. Bear in mind, all this is exam questions. Charge sales increases the accounts receivable ledger and accounts payable payment on account decreases the ledger. Okay, so what we did, oh, um, we, we you remember when we did um, create sales receipt? That was the cash. That don't affect nothing. But the same little one right here, create invoices. This is what costs me to receive payment because this is when I charge. City of Bayshore. Receive payment. All right, like the one before, you need to say receive from on the city of Bayshore because when I click on this, that means city of Bayshore owe me money. If nothing come up, that means they don't owe me any money. But of course, they owe me money because of the previous transactions. The amount to pay, cash, check, debit card. Remember, um, we had a customer paying you, they can pay you by anything, cash, check, debit card, whatever. In this case here, they're paying by cash. And of course, they're paying partial payment on this invoice here. Just like the one I did before, they're paying me $50 on this invoice here. And then all you do is say pray, save and new. The reason why I press the save and new because I now want to save some more money in full now, not partial payment. So save and new. Let's go back to City Bay Show again because I want some more money from him. You see right here? This balance is 286 among due. This is the original amount. He paid me $50 now. So his balance is 286. Now I want a full payment from him. Make sure you keep a good credit. And I always remember all this is in the book now. You're training the manual. Click on the dialog box. And when you click on the dialog box, it automatically shows that 286 is paid in full. This is very important. Paid in full. Okay, and then you press save and close. Now, what we did so far, we did eight transactions in QuickBooks Accounting. And uh, all of them practical, I'm going to send you the video of this one tonight. And on Thursday will be the last of the group sessions. Everything else in reference to anything you all want to know individually will be done one on one. So I know you all going to miss me in a group session, <laughs> but uh, the Friday, uh, Thursday night's the last. On Friday night, uh, we're gonna look at entering everything new, new items, new suppliers, new vendors, new chart of accounts. We're gonna go on chart of accounts here. When you enter new items from here, new items here, right here. We're gonna go over that. Well, that's next week. I mean, Thursday coming. We're gonna show you how to enter new items. Um, new items means new products. 
So I, I'm going to show you how to enter that. Yeah. And reference, because no apps can be cash or charge. It's a, it's a simple person is writing a check in here and buy a new item. Now you can wait on here. Make sure the items button is highlighted now. That's very important. Remember the first class. The camera here, the new items. I'm going to show you how to enter these new items. Right there. New item. You see? Right there. Let me tell you if I can show you how to do all that. The processor is going to be done on Thursday. And then on Thursday, I'm going to show you. And then and finally on Thursday, we get a close up with reports, the major reports, remember the financial statements. Company financials, profit and yes, loss statement. Yes, we're we going to we going to look at the financial statements. We're going to look at expenses. You can't see your screen. Okay, let me just let me get it down. You see it now? It's yes. All right. Yeah, okay. So <laughs> when he was zooming, he click on stuff, all kind of crazy stuff occurs. Yeah. So, like I said before, um, we're going to um, chat up accounts over here. And the new items. All well, are going to be done right here. We can do all that next, um, Thursday. And then we're going to look at new inventory. And put button highlighted. I think I'll call it this. And that's the, that's the beginning of your second invoice sheet I give you. We, we, we be doing all of this on um, Thursday. Uh, first, like I said, finally, we'll be looking at financial statements, profit and loss statement. This is the, the one on page 23 in the back of your book. Right here. And then we'll be looking at balance sheet. See? And then we'll be looking at the cash flow statements. All this on, on, on Thursday coming. So, like I said, Thursday will be the last of the group training. Then I want each one of you all to start, make sure get updated with your practical exercises and what you understand. And that's when you and I will go one-on-one -on -one when you have problems entering. After you watch the videos and see that you um, do understand, then that's when you and I will come together and then we do one-on-one -on -one sessions. Uh, the, the class is 8.15 at the same time, um, Thursday. And then we move from there. And now you're supposed to be in your position now to start practicing um uh these eight transactions so that because you follow the same direction as i tell you don't read between the lines don't try to add anything new it's simple as this and that's it 
and now you need to start um, doing reviewing your exam because the exam is soon approaching. Um, so you need to start studying for your exam. Uh, so you have to um, chew gum and eat, eat the same time in reference to the exam and practicing right here. So these next two to three weeks is going to be very um, interesting because don't forget now you need to have your what I call um, mark. The mark is the exam mark is individually done. So the the audit exam mark is individually done, but the and of course the uh, the exam at your um, island administrative office or your district council office or whatever um, appointment will be made. I'll I'll get a letter of approval for all of those areas. So when you walk in, you do you know what to expect. But everything's going to be professionally done and, and all that. I'm going to ex explain to you the exam protocol later. Okay. And that's basically it. And then I'm going to, like I said, email um, and plus WhatsApp, everybody. So that um, that's it. Okay. All right. So good night, everybody. Good night. Good night. Um, yeah. And uh, let's have a prayer. Who can leave the prayer tonight? Somebody can leave the prayer. Heavenly Father, we thank you, Lord, for allowing us to have a productive session tonight as we go on separate ways. Please go before us. And night is from the crown of our head to the sole of our feet. Dispatch your holy angels to stand guard over our lives to guard us and keep us in all your ways. Protect us from all harm and danger and grant us sweet rest tonight. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. All right, don't forget the practice, practice, practice. I can't be in Minecraft Key, Exoma, and San Andres watching your practice. Y'all got to practice. And like I said, if any challenge you'll have, just WhatsApp me and then I'll individually um, go through everything with you because no one got to be left in hand. But don't forget now, I send you the exam and exam answers. So now the exam answers um, and the questions and, and, the, and the answers to the questions got to be exact. But you can't say cash sales, it's charge sales, okay? That's very important. Okay, so good night, everybody. Good night. All right. Good night. Excellent.